Hey, how's it going, you guys? So, um, I don't have any series videos for you today. Uh, instead, I'm going to do um, a pro game commentary. Uh, I found this one on 361points.com. Uh, I'll link to that in the description. And uh, I just chose this one because I liked it. Like, uh, every once in a while, like, when they put new games up on that site, uh, like, when they feature new games, I, like, played through them and stuff. And I was playing through this one, and I just happened to really like it for some reason. So I thought I'd go over it. Um, I don't know how to say their name, so I'm not going to try, but there you can see them over here and over here. Um, so, yeah, so let's get to the game. Black plays a 4-4, white plays a 4-4, and uh, this struck me as weird just because, you know, normally you would think that they would try and, uh, you know, play the diagonal corner of it, but it doesn't really matter too much. So black plays uh, the 3-4, and white plays a 3-4. Normally with uh, this move, um, I'm thinking Black's intention is to enclose and then go for the um, this Fuseki. Um, but because White plays the 3-4, um, and I think White's threatening to play the uh, Chinese Fuseki, so um, I don't think Black wanted that. Um, Black approaches here. Uh, they play out a standard... Um, Joseki, and then instead of uh, Black playing this move right here, the like to enclose it to form a base, um, he he plays a little bit more aggressively and he approaches the stone. White backs off and uh, Black creates this little territory right here. And as you can see, the this white group isn't completely settled yet. Um, Black can still approach the corner. So. Um, so that group's in a little bit of danger, but white, uh, when white looks at the entire board, like instead of, like something I would have done was I probably would have, you know, protected this corner with my next move, um, just because like, you know, as a like a lower as a Q player, I'm a little bit more like narrow visioned, but um, uh, what the white uh, player decided, he looked at the entire board and he said the biggest point would be over here, so um. Uh, he separated these two groups. Uh, Black gets his enclosure on the bottom with his 3-4. And White approaches. Um, this is a little bit more aggressive than just doing the two-point extension for the base. Because he wants to put pressure on this corner White stone. Um, Black, you know, takes out. It's very similar to this uh, upper left corner. And White decides to come inside. Black has to block that. And then White plays this. And uh, I don't know, this is like a weird, uh, I don't see this variation too often. I don't, I don't I've never seen this before. Um, it was a little weird to me, but I know his shape looks really solid. Like, it doesn't look like uh, there's anything like um, Black can do to it. And he still has uh, an extension. Oh, uh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Um, still has an extension down here. And can uh, this group is still uh, small. So he can, so that uh, so Black didn't gain too much. Um, so now Black finally, uh, after he senses this upper right corner settled, and he doesn't really have any like threatened groups, he decides to attack White because White's weak in the upper left. Um, they play out another um, Joseki in. It's all normal, and then um, Black plays here. And normally you would think white would like try and you know separate those two groups, but say white does that, black has this move, which um, is kind of like a big cut because like at, it puts white in a difficult spot. Like if white tries to run this way, black can kind of like try and kill off these stones. So uh, white doesn't want that, so she decides to um, make a make an exchange. She'll connect here while black connects under there. And I think she plays here next. No. Where does she play next? Oh, so she uh, forms the base and keeps Black small because if if she doesn't, Black has the like say she plays I don't know somewhere else. Um, Black has the opportunity to put pressure on this white group, and uh, when White tries to run, Black will create territory. White doesn't want that, so um, White takes the base first. 
black has to secure his corner with this move and now white plays this black disconnects it and white um, creates a tiger mouse so it's a solid connection um, I'm not really sure what uh, d18 is for like I don't know why white had to play that but I'm assuming it's some kind of uh, throw in stone like I guess oh I guess white wanted black to respond to it right now but uh, black doesn't care too much cuz you know these these ones are already connected so he doesn't have to worry about making life uh, he plays this point which is bigger um, now he's uh, getting his he's gonna try to build up this moyo that he's that he tried to set up with the uh, enclosure uh, white doesn't want that so uh, because it was a three space jump white is able to uh, try an invasion Black's trying to keep white out, trying to s cut, shut him in. Black gets the cut, so uh, white's in a little bit of danger. Uh, with this move, black's connected, so um, he doesn't have to worry about these stones. And with this move, white's just turned uh, these four stones. Uh, they're both reducing and creating influence right here because earlier if we go all the way back to here say white hmm how could white handle this where would be a good move for white hmm well let's say white played elsewhere say white plays this to create more influence on the top Black is it, black has all this space and um, with this kind of like you know influence over here, he can create a large moyo in the bottom right hand side. So uh, with white's invasion, uh, yeah, the invasion stone died, but white gets this stone to live and it reduces. So now black's just living in the corner and on the side a little bit, and white gets you know the influence over the bottom. So black extends out into the middle, um, and white plays this move to try and secure his uh, territory, trying to turn it into territory instead of just influence. And black's not going to let that happen, so he goes for this invasion. Um, this move is going for uh, reduction. White threatens to try and make life. But black stops that. Um, this move uh, kind of hits black hard. Um, the whole point with this move is that he's poking at white's weaknesses so he can get a wall right here. And once he has that wall, he can play over here to get a wall here and then turn this into territory. Like That's like his ultimate goal. And he gets that wall with this move and then white takes away his potential of making a wall on the other side um so black black's not going to stand for that he decides to you know take this into an invasion and white doesn't think that that invasion down here on the bottom is too big so he decides to uh further push on black and now you can see um with this group a little bit uh it's behind enemy lines but uh, White has the potential to, you know, create some good territory in this area. Um, that's why Black approaches from this side. Uh, he's peeping, so White has to connect, and now he has a stone right in the middle of White's influence. Uh, he tries to disconnect him with uh, E13. And if you watched my last video, you know that if you're in enemy lines, uh, a good way to make eye shape is to attach to your opponent's alone. Uh, like lone stones, stones on themselves. Going for a co, white connect or black connects. So black gives up these two stones and the connection to this corner. So now this corner is in trouble because of this stone. Uh, so he's gonna have to deal with that later. Oh, uh, so he deals with that right now, actually. Uh, White's threatening to escape. 
uh, white was trying to build influence again over this middle area, but black just jumped right in. And now white protects his territory on top. So because white never um, dealt with this invasion on the bottom, black uh, you know, really hits him hard. Now there's really, like, white really lost all of his territory on bottom. So you can see uh, the game's turning into black's favor. There's not much white can do. Uh, black secures his uh, left side territory. Hmm. This connection, oh, because uh, black could play here or something like that later. So black protected, or white protected against that. Um, black secures his territory. White's threatening that corner again. Getting sente moves. And now with this move, she's going to try and uh, seal this off for territory. Black's just poking at white now. Okay, so with this move, white's trying to create eye space in this area. Um, because this connection is really weak with these stones. So uh, when black threatens it, instead of uh, so white attacks on top to you know create more eye space, and he pokes at uh, black's weakness to again create more eye space. So white's uh, reducing black's potential territory and at the same time creating territory for himself. Oops. Um, black's just uh, jumped in. White has no potential territory in here anymore. So white protects his territory on top. And now black's trying to escape. So black gets out, uh, neutralizing this territory. Again, you can see if you take inventory now, uh, white down here. This is maybe, I want to say like 15 points overall, like this whole area. So 15, maybe 10 when you count this whole group. Um, what do we have? We have this corner down here, which would be maybe another 15, maybe maybe a little more than that. So it's around 40. And with this whole group, I can imagine he'll get like less than 10. So white has less than 50 points right now. Um, now let's look at black. Black has, you know, like 14 up here. Uh, maybe like seven right there. We'll say six for round numbers. So it's 20 so far. Uh, maybe 13, 33. Uh, down here, another maybe 15. When you count this whole thing. Oh, actually, forgot. I didn't notice this. Um, so this is actually more like 20. I want to say. We'll go. We'll go 25. And we're getting more here, more here, and possibly more here in this area. <laughs> I have a lot of triangles on the board. Anyways, as you can see, black is taking the lead. And black's uh, pushing white around. And with this move, um, black's, you know, uh, sealed up his connection. So white can't make territory in here. And black has the ability to just push white around. Uh, with all these uh, weak spots in white's group. So at this point, uh, black wins by resignation. Um, ultimately, let's go back to the beginning. Um, so when black gets this move and white doesn't pincer uh, and just tries to go for the corner, um, that uh, actually ends up weakening white uh, because this weakness comes to hurt him later. Um, so this move maybe was a little too much. Uh, if white had instead just in a two-point extension, um, black still needs to enclose his corner somehow. Otherwise, like if he ignores it and plays it, oh whoops, and plays something like this. Uh, white has the ability to play here, or here, or here, 
or here uh basically white's gonna just destroy this upper corner so with the two point extension black still has to respond and then white still has sente so sh white can either make another base of uh, you know getting rid of um the blacks you know potential on the bottom right or white can try and uh take the side to um create a base so that when black gets this corner it's not that big of a deal or white can just protect the corner something like that um so basically i think uh this move was a little too aggressive um it ends up giving black sente and it white uh black destroys white's corner and um with this wall you see uh white gets the influence on the middle but it gets neutralized by like these stones and this group like there's not there's not really much if white tries to play this way black can uh, approach from here and if white tries to here i'll use this one so like if white tries to play at a black can play b and if white tries to play b black can play at a you know like that that influence isn't doing too much for him so i think that uh, might have been one of the mistakes um let's see uh i like the invasion i was fine with that um i think this move was going for a little too much uh it invited what it invited black in and let black uh kind of push white around i would have gone one lower and played here but that's just me um let's see next um i don't see i don't see that these two were very these two moves were very useful so i would have responded to this instead because that invasion that black gets later uh obliterates white's territory down here like white has a sizable group uh down here this is maybe 30 points if white protects it so uh that was bad um this and i like this very very much black gets the invasion um instead of playing uh, all these triangles getting annoying so instead of playing um the marked move uh i think something over in this area would have been better to further seal off you know this uh potential territory because then if white plays this two point extension then black's only really way of doing anything is to try and reduce him right here and even if it gets reduced um like say white stones end up looking something like this then that's still pretty sizable territory instead he lets black in yeah this move uh right here was going for a little too much uh, uh descending down here actually wouldn't have done much um so maybe th this move was probably the bad move then maybe if we could have gone here black cuts off try and peep you get that wall um something like that maybe i don't know but basically um white just ends up letting black in too far first black gets in at the bottom down here now black gets in, in the top and then black gets in in the middle later so uh, the reason black won this was uh, white was a little too careless with his groups and just let black reduce and invade as he saw fit like white couldn't really stop him and white had too many weaknesses to try and protect that uh, like say white tried to protect one black would just abuse the other so there was really uh, no chance for white and then white resigns um, so that's it for this game uh, thank you for watching, so I'm probably still going to do that Life and Death series that I talked about in my last video. Um, so uh, I'll, pu I'll put that up in two days. And uh, let me know if you guys uh, want to see anything else. Like I can do more of these pro games or uh, maybe more of my commentated games. And um, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later.